I'm here in northwest Victoria for the purpose of having my Starlink satellite internet modified by Aaron here of Space Tech uh, in Mildura. Space Tech is a company which has seen a niche for Starlink products or innovation and I'll just ask Aaron to tell us a little bit about what he's done with his innovation for Starlink products. Sure Rob. Um, so about uh, I guess a year and a half ago um, I got Starlink on the beta program. Um, the first thing I noticed when I got it home is um, there's no way of mounting it on the roof of my house. So um, we came up with um, our own mounting system when it's one of the poles there just beside you that we, uh, we, we came up with which has been machined in the end. Um, it has a couple of stay bars that come off it um, and a base plate and uh, that was just for, for ourselves to install locally. Um, and what I found was once we started posting a few pictures on, on social media, uh, everyone else said, where do I get that? Mm. So uh, we started making a few small batches, which um, just through social, uh, social media, we sold a fair few. Um, I decided to turn that into a, sort of a side hustle at home um, and uh, did some proper marketing and it just took off. Um, well, uh, exploded out of the water basically. Yep. And then uh, a couple of months later, I quit my day job and that's what we do full time. Um, once port portability and, and now they call it roam become a an option, uh, we saw that uh, RVs and caravans um, needed a solution as well. Being able to power it off 12 and 24 volt is one of the things that we wanted to do ourselves, but obviously everyone like yourself also saw was a benefit rather than running an inverter, uh, which uses a lot of power, so that's where we are today. Would you like to tell our fans just what you've done to set our system up, how you've done it? Yeah, so um, we, uh, we've we got the uh, uh, wall, recessed wall mount, uh, which we've done on the other side of your van. Yep, um, I'll pop that in in a minute. Yep, we've got uh, the 12 volt, uh, 24 volt power supply under your bed, yep. um, and uh, a grand stream uh, high powered Wi-Fi router with a uh, 12 volt regulator. Right, and this uh, this is all waterproof, so we can leave it connected to the van during storms and should we actually need to mount Dishy away from the caravan. And I will just add that this will end up with, when they become available, um, it's a one and a half metre pole that will have suction mounts onto the side of the caravan and Dishy just drops into the top of that with no other modifications. So this is going to be really great. But if we're under a tree or something like that, we can still take Dishy further away from the caravan. We've got a 10 metre lead on it at the moment, which it comes out with, what, about 25 metres? About meters? 25 metres. We've, yeah. uh, we've cut off about 10. Um, and a lot of that's to do with, uh, well, not needing to wrap up 10 metres of cable every time you do set it up um, mm. because you don't use 25 metres most of the time. No. Uh, but also for power efficiency. So yep. it uses less power the shorter that cable run is. Yep, yep. Okay, that's great. Now, I really want you to tell people about this. Sure. So um, I'll start by saying Starlink don't condone this. Um, <laughs> but we do offer the service of cutting down um, a Starlink dish. We take all the motors out and we then put it inside this uh, waterproof IP68 rated housing. Um, it all goes in from underneath. Uh, it's got several seals and some other tricks inside it to make sure it doesn't leak. Um, those uh, are high powered earth magnets that are on there at the moment so they can go straight to the top of your vehicle um, and you wouldn't even know it's there. Uh, optionally, you can just uh, bolt it to some rhino racks um, or possibly even some suction caps if you wanted mm. to. Um, but uh, that's the one that I use on my vehicle and even sitting on uh, 110 k's an hour, we've got uh, full speed broadband. Kids love it because um, they can watch their Netflix and yeah. play their games and and um, and we can still take phone calls and all that sort of stuff yeah. no matter where we are. Yeah. And we're still talking about high speeds here, aren't we? Absolutely, yeah. Um, we still average between I don't know, 80, 150 meg download while we're still sitting on those speeds. It's fantastic. So, and it's the ideal solution, I think, for well, people like Karen and I who like to go up into the high country but don't want to have to carry all the rest of the stuff. Uh, we can just set our Starlink up with one of those one day. 
not today. <laughs> but uh, that's great. Aaron, thank you so much for coming out here no and worries. doing this job for me. Now we have our fully waterproof ethernet plug because the Starlink cable's about to be converted to ethernet. Dish's cable has been shortened to 10 metres and it has an extension cable. We can still have the full length, but now you can see that's going into the uh, totally waterproof socket on the side of the van. And on the other side of that, we've got a uh, protective cover. Plenty of, slack in, plenty of slack in the cable here, which goes through and uh, through the wall, the existing wall holes into the space under the bed. We're fortunate in that the entry to the caravan from the tunnel boot outside, where, which holds all the junctions in the wires, comes through right here. Then we have our 12 volt power supply, star power, and that's now connected to our new router. So these are uh, the 12 volt power supply that Space, uh, Space Tech get manufactured. Um, they are to power the 12 volt routers, so they've got a, uh, a wide input range of 8 to 40 volts and a stable output of 12 volt 3 amp. So on a caravan where your voltage could any, be, be anywhere between sort of 11 and a half to um, 14 and a half volts, depending if you're charging, um, there's always gonna be a stable 12 volt output to power your um, high performance uh, equipment like uh, Grand Stream routers. On the outside of the bed is a switch so that when I go to bed at night, I can just turn Starlink off and save power. Aaron services mobile. So he's met us here at the Red Cliffs Caravan Park. All the stuff that he needs. And um, at the moment, the job's just about done. So it'll be great when it's all finished.